Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to try to get you up to speed on, but we get to circle back now on Washington's assault weapon ban and the ongoing court challenges, the success or lack thereof that we are seeing so far in trying to challenge this otherwise unconstitutional prohibition against your Second Amendment rights. Now, what we're going to be doing is spending a little bit of time with the case that was filed in state court, started in Grant County, got punted over to Thurston County, and we got a huge, huge argument coming up at the end of this week that you all need to be aware of. So today, let's get you all up to speed and let's spend a few minutes and talk about, is an injunction coming on Washington's assault weapon ban? Hey, before we get going down the road, we're going down. Proud to announce that this video is being brought to you by Guardian Arms. That's right, Moses Lake's best and premier FFL is located right here in Moses Lake. Now, in addition to being an FFL manufacturer and doing standard sales, they're doing custom Cerakoting, gunsmithing. Listen, they got all kinds of cool things around here and you should definitely check out their YouTube channel, which is Guardian Arms Training. So the next time you're in Moses Lake, stop on by and see my good friends right here at Guardian Arms. Okay, so the case we're talking about today is Guardian Arms versus Inslee. Now, this is the first of the three lawsuits that were filed. This is the one and only case that was filed in state court. It was originally filed in Grant County. We shagged it all the way over there for the big court hearing, only to find a judge who wasn't too interested in hearing the whole thing and punted it back to Thurston County. Now, I'm not going to get too far into the woods here as to how this case ended up in Thurston County, but in a nutshell, the judge essentially ruled that since there was no actual injury in, a, in fact, which had occurred inside Grant County, the challenge was to two state officials who were doing business then, of course, in Thurston County, and for that reason, the lawsuit had to be removed there. That was the first piece of bad news. The second piece of bad news is we never even got to the part about the injunction because the matter got punted down to Thurston, which means now there's some Thurston County judges that are gonna decide whether or not this law continues to roll on or whether we're gonna have a statewide injunction. Now that is set for argument this Friday, June 23rd at 9 a.m. Now, any of you who are interested in going down there, yes, you can go down to Thurston County Superior Court. And yes, you can sit around all morning with Pete Serrano and everyone else from the Silent Majority Foundation. They would love to have you. But understand, it is not like this is the only matter set on this calendar. There's a little bit of a cattle call calendar. Case could go out at 9.05 in the, in the morning and be done by 10.30 in the morning. It may not go out until close to the lunch hour. So please be aware. Is there going to be a rally down there? No, there's not going to be a rally down there. Can you go down there and support the folks with the Silent Majority Foundation and stand up for your Second Amendment rights? Absolutely. It is an open courtroom. Everything should be done in that fashion. So the matter of Guardian Arms versus Inslee is to be argued this Friday, 9 a.m. or sometime before the lunch hour in Thurston County Superior Court in Olympia. Now, Right now, if you're keeping score at home, there are three cases, and right now only one of them has had a ruling on an injunction. That's the case that was filed in the Western District of Washington in the United States District Court. That is the matter of Hartford v. Ferguson, and we have talked about that ruling because it is arguably the worst ruling I have read in the last five years as it relates to any Second Amendment issues. It is a judge, with all due respect, to the judge who absolutely, positively did not get it, okay? So, right now we are 0 for 1. Th we have not had the injunction heard on the matter of Guardian Arms v. Inslee. So this is gonna be the first impression on that. Now, what is my prediction? Well, there was a reason that the Attorney General's office was so anxious to get it to Thurston County, and it was not just because it made for an easier commute. No, you can imagine how the bench is stacked up there. So if we're going to start looking into our tea leaves or reading the crystal ball and trying to make a prediction, what do I think the smart money is on? I think the smart money is on the fact that the plaintiffs in this case are not going to prevail before the Thurston County Superior Court. 
Does that mean that I think that their argument is without merit? Absolutely not. Their argument has fantastic merit. It has all the case law behind it. It is a righteous argument, but we're going to need to find the courts that can actually understand the constitutional framework and have the courage to do what's right. The third and final case, the one we haven't really talked about today, is the one that's filed in the Eastern District of Washington. That's the case of Banta v. Ferguson. That has not yet proceeded to argument on injunctions there. That's coming up later this summer. So currently, if you're keeping score at home, we are 0 for 1. We got another one coming up on Friday. Unfortunately, Washington Gun Law is predicting that we're going to be 0 for 2 after that hearing. But again, it has nothing to do with the merits of the argument. Once again, if you want to go down and support the folks with the Silent Majority Foundation, Guardian Arms, and other named plaintiffs in that case, the hearing is going to be at Thurston County Superior Court this Friday, June 23rd, sometime after 9 a.m. God only knows when that may be. Obviously, we're going to give you an update as soon as that happens. I've been working things out with Pete Serrano, so we might try to do an interview as soon as arguments are over. In the meantime... If you guys got any questions about this or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights, you guys should know how to contact Washington Gun Law by now. But if you don't, that's okay because that information is right down there in the description box. In the meantime, I do want all of you to remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.